Okay, so we can get a close up of these switches now underneath the keys uh, and see see a bit more of them. Um, you can see how they work there. It's a bit fuzzy. It doesn't seem to want to focus. Come on. Perhaps I'm just too close. But you can see how it works anyway. You press the key and it presses those two wires down which just make the third one move a little bit as they contact it. Now um, you can see that they're all really dirty and black except that shiny one in the middle that I cleaned um, and I've tried two or three different ways of cleaning these today. Um, I've tried various chemicals including clock cleaner, uh, a product called Horoline, um, which is ammonia based and smells absolutely horrible um, but it does clean it very very quickly. I just put a little bit on, a, well you have to dilute it uh, and then I used a very soft paintbrush um, you know, small artist paintbrush and just brushed that over uh, the contacts and then kind of dried it off afterwards and, and gave a little bit of a rinse with some with a brush with some water uh, and it makes it look nice and clean but it doesn't really work awfully well um, as soon as it dries the thing stops working again uh, I tried various switch cleaner chemicals and, and all that kind of stuff um, nothing seems to be particularly reliable uh, so what I ended up doing, um, which is probably a little bit brutal, but it does work, uh, is to get some very, very fine, about 1200 grit, um, wet and dry paper, emery paper, uh, and just pop that between the contacts, um, hold the switch down and just pull a strip of it through, uh, and that seems to work fine, and they've all been reliable ever since. Um, so I'll demonstrate that in a minute, uh, and, and we'll be able to see how that process works.